Eric Kilburn Jr.'s feet are big, and they hurt because he can't find any shoes his size. What size shoe were you jamming your foot into for a while there? I want to say it was a 16. And you should have been wearing a, was a size what? Like 20, 21-ish. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to illustrate to people that may say, what's the big deal about that? Why can't he do it? I wear a size 15. I'm not going to make you try it on, but can we at least just compare and show yeah. the difference in the size? Is there any chance you're getting that shoe on your foot? No, absolutely not. Eric's mom, Rebecca, has worked for a solution for years. Since he was in fifth grade, that's the last time she remembers finding shoes for him on the shelf. At the very beginning, I was just looking for a pair of shoes for him because the only option we had at that point was a $1,500 pair of orthopedic shoes. So Rebecca tried everything and everyone she knew. The cry for help got louder and louder. It's been hard coming to the realization that I probably wouldn't have shoes a couple years ago. Tuesday night, a phone call. The family gathered around the kitchen table and the booming voice of a Hall of Famer on the other side. These shoes were sent from Shaq and Reebok. What? Yeah, these shoes were custom tailored for Shaq and then they were left over, so they sent them to me. Shaq and I had a conversation over the phone. Um, <laughs> we talked for a minute about football and sports and then he said, I'm gonna send you shoes. Shaquille O'Neal's yes. shoes. Your yes. son is wearing Shaquille O'Neal's shoes. He is, he is. <laughs> that, it, it's, it's so much amazing things to process. And we've had Reebok, Puma, Under Armour standing behind us and are like, we want to support Eric. Under Armour flew from Maryland to Clarkston to meet with the family and measure his feet. I, I don't have Eric's exact size figured out yet, but obviously he's going to be the largest uh, shoe we've ever built. I'd just like to like thank everyone for being there to help me when I need it most. It's not a competitive thing. He welcomes the support from every shoe company. And he even told me he used to have to jam into Crocs and expand them. That's what he wore no matter the weather here. He did say to Crocs, if you want to make a size for me that big now, I'm ready to wear those. <laughs> the family has a GoFundMe that has exceeded their hopes. They're going to be used those funds for other expenses in Eric's life. They ultimately plan to set up a nonprofit to help other families. They said there's so much goodness happening in their home, they want to spread it because there are so many families in a community they've built online now that are crying for the same thing. Their kids need big shoes. Wow, and it's great to have somebody make you feel like you should feel. Yeah. You know? It's so Not cool even to see normal, that. normal, but just how you should feel. Right. Yeah. Cool seeing that scan, too, that technology, oh, how they're doing that. And oh, by the way, Shaq called. <laughs> you kidding me, man? Just want to wear my shoes. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> he wants his shoes back. <laughs> Shaq, Shaq understands. Shaq's got big feet. Shaq's very happy for Shazam. you. Shazam. <laughs>